Hey folks, uh, this is NixOS number 54. We're going to make our Raspberry Pi Pico work in NixOS with MicroPython, Raspberry Pi Pico. If you're watching this, I'm sure you know, but it's like a $6 microprocessor, micro, microcontroller that is capable of running Python. Very cool. Um, and there's a billion uh, how-tos about how to do this on the internet, but none specific to NixOS. So much, slightly different, not all that hard to figure out, but you know, I figure there's lazy people out there who just like like the answer, so I'm gonna try to give it to you. So um, here's some steps to get up and running with the Pi Pico under NixOS. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna put the your user your uh, in, in NixOS, uh, well, I have my I have my NixOS configuration sort of factored out here. So I have user directory, and I have a Chrisam directory. And if I edit my user.nix, I have him in several extra groups. Uh, the important one here is dial out, and that will give Chrisam my user access to this um, this ser this emulated serial port, which is what the Pico wants to be communicated to over TTY ACM0. And uh, as soon as I give him access to the dialogue group, he will have access to all dev TTY ACM star, whatever. He can, he can write to it and read to it as necessary. So I've currently done that. I already have that done. Um, the next step is to add a few requisite packages to your environment system packages. Oh, and by the way, this thing on the left-hand side, this, you know, the script.rst thing, uh, there's a link in the description to get to it, so you don't have to retype it. You just cut and paste it. Um, in my environment system packages, I have something like this. Uh, I have all my other programs, and that in order to support this, this Pico stuff, I've installed, um, you have to install Python. I've chosen to install Python 3.11. It can be... Anywhere from 3.9, 3.10, or 3.11, or it, at this point, I'm not sure where 3.12 is. It might might be close to being released, but any one of those will work. I chose 3.11. Um, I'm installing a Python 3.11 with this Pi Serial package, which is needed for something we'll look at a little bit later called Micro Pico, which is a, a Visual Studio plugin. Um, and so this this bit of mess here was all Python with PySerial in it. That's its entire job there. So, and then we're going to install this other very basic idea called Thani. Um, I just read, my friend uh, said to me, he said, oh, it's it's, it's Python. I, I never knew what I meant. Thon, Py yeah, yeah, Python. <laughs> um, going to install Visual Studio Code in a way that puts it inside of a Linux FHS compliant sort of cheroot, which is useful for installing um, Visual Studio, Studio Code extensions in it. You can install it other ways under NixOS, but this is this seems the easiest to me because it already has a way to synchronize extensions between machines and stuff. And I don't think there's any reason to sort of manually manage your Visual Studio Code extensions inside of uh, NixOS. And the third thing we're going to install is 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 just a, a terminal program. For those very old, it is something that communicates over a serial port and talks to um, whatever's connected to that serial port, be it a modem or another computer, or in this case, our Pi Pico. Um, so once we do that, we can run our NixOS rebuild switch to get all this stuff installed. I'm not going to do that but because I already have all this stuff installed, but if you just kind of cut and paste this into the appropriate places in your configuration, you should be good. So the next thing you do is you need to flash your Pico with MicroPython. Of course, there are a billion um, YouTube tutorials about how to do this. Um, the one thing I will note is that there are there are different firmware images for the Pico and the Pico W. Uh, they're slightly different different machines. Um, the Pico W has has wireless. Pico doesn't. Uh, but the stuff that is uh, for the Pico, not the Pico W, is at that URL. You can click on it if you go to that script. Um, and you just want to download one of these things here. I've already downloaded it. Um, 
And it, essentially, uh, I'm going to do this just because it seems to be requisite in any of these tutorials. I'm going to plug. I have a Pico here plugged into my computer via USB. I'm holding down the boot select button now. And you see that thing come up there? I, I, I unplugged it and replugged it in with the boot select button held down. That's 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 it. And then you you select it from your you know, I happen to be using KDE here. So I have this uh, that's the that's the image and I can just go to the Raspberry Pi PI two and paste it in here. And once I do that, after a little bit, after it gets fully copied, it will disconnect. And now the 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 Pico is running MicroPython. So yeah, uh, once it's ready to be flashed, it's ready to be communicated with. So we take a look at, um, you know, I I already had Minicom installed, but in your case, since we changed the dial out group here, I would suggest opening a new terminal just to get the changes of the of the Unix groups that you are allowed to access. Um, and so Minicom dash uh, we, we installed Minicom. Uh, but pretend that I ran NixOS rebuild switch after I added those lines. I already have it in here. But uh, we have to sudo. Really? I don't have Minicom? Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm just going to run this. This is the, this is the equivalent. <clears throat> oh, geez. Okay. I already have it configured, so it's already talking to my, my Pico here. But what you want to do is you want to go into your, um, let's see, control A Z Q. Yes. Uh, you want to go into the setup menu here and you want to set up your serial port by default. Minicom de defaults to dev modem here. You just want to change it to T2I ACM zero like that. That's the only change you need to make really. Um, once that's done, exit from Minicom. And then of course, now when I run Minicom, it'll do exactly what it did before which is you have to maybe press return a couple times to start communicating with it but it it will talk to the pico that's how you know your pico is running and uh yes okay so the other thing we want to uh configure is thani uh, thani is a very basic ide that is friendly to uh a, a bunch of micro python stuff Including our Pico. Uh, let's see here. So we can do Thani. Yep. And it's already connected because I've already configured it, but yours will not. Um, I want to go to Tools, Options, Interpreter, and select Raspberry Pi Pico from this from this list here. And once you do that, it should it should connect there. Which you should see exactly. You know, this is kind of more or less what we saw over in uh, over in our yeah this is more or less what we saw over here in our minicom so um, note that uh, two programs can't be can, can't talk to the, the Pico over Dev TTY uh, ACM zero at the same time it, you you may like if I open up um, minicom or try to I'll, I'll close Thani how about that. Close Thani. Open up Minicom. Press can what? What? Let me quit this again. Do that. Reset Minicom. Let me restart the Pico here. Technical difficulties. Yes, please. Minicom. Okay, now it's uh, got unconfused. So if I'm in Minicom and I open up Thani, uh, you are likely to see something like this and in this bottom window down here. Device reports readiness, something like that. Yeah, something like that. You'll, you'll see an error and it just means that you already have it open somewhere else. Um, and you just need to quit it. 
Let's see. Oops. Quit. Yeah, that's now when I go to here, I should be able to connect. And the stop button up here just reconnects you. If you're in in doubt, just press the stop button. You'll, you'll get reconnected. So Thani is a really good place to start. I mean, I think that's pretty much all you need in order to get going. You can edit Python files, got nice syntax highlighting and stuff, and then copy stuff around. But I actually prefer to use Visual Studio Code um, to talk to the Pico because it has a nice file synchronization feature where you can sort of upload all your changes um, to the to the Pico all in one go. Uh, Thani kind of requires you to keep track of that by hand. So uh, that's why we installed that v VS Code .fh, F -H -S, uh thing in our NixOS config. But if I run code now, do do do. I run code. Um, I have I already have a Pico test here, but we're going to pretend that we have it installed already. What you need to do is you need to go to the extensions tab here and install this thing called micro pico it used to be called um pico w go so you'll see a bunch of uh strange references to pico w go inside of like its settings and and everything uh it had to change the name but couldn't change the the values because they would have screwed up people's um settings so basically if you if you go into extensions you search for micro pico here Pico, Pico, uh, and go, why is it installing it again? Okay. Okay, whatever, man. Uh, and then once you have it installed, what you want to do is go to extension settings here. And in the Python path, put run current system slash sw slash bin python 3.11 that'll get you the python that has that pi serial thing installed so it'll work um, if you don't have that there it's just not gonna work at all so once that is done you can go to um let's see you can go to your welcome page here uh, my file do folder open folder okay and if I go to, let me just make a new folder here. Let me call it uh, vid test. And open that. And that will sort of refresh. Just do the code. And now I, what I can do is I can pr press Control Shift P for the palette of things. I can do configure micro pico, just search for micro pico. And I want to select configure project. And that will give us this menu down here that tells us our Pico is connected. And um, let's see if I if I open a new file in here. Uh, let's see, pi. Puda, let's say main.py. We can see that, yeah, we can see that. I forget how to show the terminal here. Uh, there's an easy, there's there's some way to do this that I I've already forgotten, but there, there's often a status window down here about uh, the terminal. How do I do it? Terminal. Is that is that a new terminal? Is that it? Yeah, man. Oh no, 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 no. It is no, not that either. Pico REPL. That's it. So now we're connected to the Pico down there. And uh, I can just kind of make a, you know, I have another. Um, anyway, this is not a video about programming the Pico. You can, you can figure that out yourself. But this is just how to get connected. So hope this helps people.